Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Google Drive, which is brand new, and Dropbox, which is kind of the old guy, or the household name now. In case you're unfamiliar with these two products, they're basically, think of it as your flash drive in the cloud. That's how I explain it to like old people. Uh, it's basically having a cloud backup solution instead of a freaking gigantic hard drive sitting on your desk. Almost my entire existence is in the cloud. I back up videos to YouTube, I back up photos to Google Plus and Picasa, I back up all sorts of other things like documents to Google Docs. Google Docs is gone now, it's Google Drive. Let's take a look at both of these services and how they stack up. So start with a look at the brand new Google Drive's Mac app, and it's basically exactly like Finder. You find a folder called Google Drive in it. You can navigate through folders and files here just like you would on the regular system. And once you drag one in, it'll take a second to sync, it'll upload, and yeah, now it's backed up to the cloud. You don't need anything else. Just as a side note, there is also a Windows version of this application, but there is no Linux version of this application. Why? Hopefully developers are on that at Google, you know, get on that. And then there's Google Drive's web app. Basically, once you dragged in and synced all your files through the desktop application, it'll show up in the web app in the same folder that you put it in. So you navigate through folders the same way, you find your files, you can view files, edit them, share them, collaborate, all this stuff happens in the web app, which is a huge feature of Google Drive. Now Dropbox is nearly the same way. It also has a web app, which allows you to view all your different files and folders, and you can click through and take a look at them if you want. And Dropbox also has a desktop application for Mac OS X and Windows, which is exactly the same way as Google Drive's, which is going through Finder, dragging in files, and syncing them. For you Mac people, there's also a menu bar icon for both of these that indicates both the amount of storage you have left and the ability to change some preferences. So both of these have the ability to go up in that menu bar and do some tinkering and stuff. That in Windows, that's in the form of the status bar down at the bottom right hand corner. But the biggest, biggest advantage of Google Drive on the desktops is the web app search functionality. It's incredible. Basically from Google Drive, you can hit that search button and search for the name of an application, search for the title, search for words that are inside of the application, words that are inside of a presentation or a document, all kinds of crazy stuff. So if you have a presentation and you have some words in the presentation, you can search for it and you'll be able to find the document that has those words in it, which is pretty freaking cool. And onto the mobile apps, because that's pretty important. Both of these applications have an Android app. And if you've used Dropbox for a while, you're familiar with it, you know that it's been developed for a while. So it has this neat tab interface. It performs really well. It's very, very smooth and fluid on Android 4.0. It's really, really solid. It has a lot of functionality. You can download for offline use. You can search, or you can view how much storage you have left. It's a very, very well put together functional application, and it's really, really good. Google Drive on Android, well, it's a Google app for a Google OS, so you'd think it'd be really solid, right? Well, it actually really is. It basically replaces Google Docs if you had Google Docs on your device before. This features a lot of the same features as the web app, so you have live collaboration, you have the same search functionality, you have the same off save for offline use, so it's really, really nice app. It functions with about the same performance as the Google Docs app, which is decent. It's not phenomenally smooth or anything like that, but it's definitely a good app, and I know that Google's gonna be working on it because this is version 1.0, and we know Google never stays at version 1.0, unless it's Google Wave. There's no iOS app for these right now, but coming soon, it says on the website, so I'm hoping there's a full-size iPad app and a, an iPhone app. Too, I guess. So pricing, this is also a huge difference between Drive and Dropbox. For Dropbox, you get two gigabytes for free, and then there's this button on the top right hand corner of the site that allows you to get more free storage. So if you can refer other people to sign up for Dropbox, you'll get more free storage added to your account. Some people have tons of free storage on Dropbox just from referring people. With Google Drive, you start out with five gigabytes for free, which would be a lot of referrals in Dropbox. And then you can pay a very small amount of money for other larger amounts of storage. So I've already upgraded my account for the 25 gigabytes, which is $2.50 per month. And if you think about it, that's next to nothing for a ton of storage. And I have a lot of stuff in the cloud, including music, pictures, eight megapixel photos from my camera, it's, it's pretty solid, so I'm glad I have that extra space. Dropbox upgrades are a little bit more expensive, but obviously I'll have both the links in the description so you can check those out. I just pointed directly at my crotch. So which is better? Uh, at this point, it's really up to you and your familiarity. If you're familiar with Dropbox, you're going to want to try to give Google Drive a chance. You might not want to immediately if you don't have anything that's Google related in there. If you're a Google person or even an Android person like me, you're probably definitely going to want to give Google Drive a shot because it integrates so well with other Google stuff. Like you get that extra storage I was talking about in Gmail and Picasa, and you get that awesome search functionality 
the web app, it's just all there already. And you get that shortcut from google.com that says drive. It's just, it's just so convenient, it just makes sense. So I'm giving drive a shot. I think I'm gonna stick with Google Drive right now and I'll keep you guys updated if that changes. Let me know what you guys think, drive or Dropbox, because it might switch back to Dropbox. Give a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it or if it was entertaining. Either way, thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing. The support really means a lot and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.